Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town. Then I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky. Hey guys, it's Crystal Amanda and welcome back to another travel vlog. It is early in the morning and I am waiting for my ride to get here to pick me up and take me to the airport. It is currently 1.30 a.m. and I am tired, 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 tired. But I am all packed, ready to go. I have my snack bag ready. So I have white cheddar. I think this is smart popcorn. White cheddar rice cakes with peanut butter. This is a 2.4 ounce container. Can't be larger than 3.4 ounces. I have some orange slices. I have some Twizzlers. I have some honey nut Cheerios. And I have some honey glazed. Walnuts, they're honey glazed something walnuts. Then I have two bottles of frozen solid water. All right guys, my ride is outside, so let's go. It is 2.50 a.m. and my flight leaves at, I didn't tell you guys earlier, my flight leaves at 5 a.m. I have an early morning flight and boarding begins at 4.30 a.m. I do have TSA pre-check, but I don't even know if TSA pre-check is open. So it is so quiet out here, look. It's the airport in front of me. Look, no one, no one. So I'm going to head inside now and get to my gate and relax. I am so sleepy. This is the time I would be knocked out. Three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, no. All right, so let's go inside. I don't think I've ever been in the airport this early. I don't know what it is about one inch blade scissors. I tried a different kind of scissors and they confiscated it. They honored my TSA pre-check even though the TSA pre-check line is not open. They still honored it so I didn't have to take off anything. I didn't have to separate my electronics. I didn't have to take off my sneakers. I didn't have to take off my headband. So that was cool. They just had to look at your boarding pass to see that TSC pre-check is, is reflected. So now I'm on my way to the gate and it's so quiet. Quiet.
right, found a water refill station. There's a regular water fountain. I actually brought my filtered water bottle. This has a filter, this is a Brita system. And the Brita filter, there you go, is inside of this straw because my frozen water is still frozen solid. And the last time I used one of these, that water did not taste good. So let's see. Much better. Much better from last time when it tastes like toilet water. Hey travel fam, I just got to my rental in Curacao. That's where this trip is. You can tell from the title and the thumbnail. But I have arrived and I'm in my loft. So I'm gonna give a quick tour before I do my bed bug check and settle in. So again, I'm in the loft. So those are the stairs that I come up from. There's another door downstairs that's locked and then the bed area is here look at those beams those wooden beams that's so cool that's the ac unit so here's the bed this is who i booked the um the rental with coral and coco vacation rentals of curacao Two beach towels. We got an end table, a bed end table over here. Let's see. And then over here is the closet. So here they have shelving in here. Let me make my thing a little brighter. And over here you can hang up things. They have a lot of hangers, another shelf, another shelf, more shelving over here, that's my bag, shelving up here, little nooks right here, that's my other bag, but look at these wooden beams in here, I love these. Love, love, love these. Then we have a love seat. It's right in front of the bed. Nice rug. We have the TV right here. Then we have two sitting chairs in front of the window in the front of the loft. And it looks out to this. You can see the ocean in the background. That's the douchey sign. It means sweet or sweetheart if you're with a significant other or girlfriend or boyfriend. And downstairs, right below me, are restaurants. So I don't even have to walk far to eat if I didn't want to. How gorgeous that is. Okay, here is the kitchen area. We have the sink. We have the stove, electric stove top. We have the fridge here. 
comes equipped with beer, water, soda. I'm not drinking the soda, but I will be drinking the water and the beer. And then I took out my frozen water that I packed with me. Remember, I brought two bottles of frozen water. This is not focusing. There we go. So it, it's like halfway, a little more than halfway melted. So I'll leave that out. And here's my Breda water. And this is just underneath the sink. They have an oven. And then your utensils. Utensils. Pots, pans. Bowls. And some glasses. We got wine glasses and then they have the teapot the coffee maker they have all of that here which I don't really use when I rent out properties or stay at hotels I don't really use their stuff and they just have this cute little nook of home decor And this has like cleaning supplies back here. So that's like, tucked away. The fire extinguishers underneath. We have a garbage bin. And here is the bathroom. Here's the door, actually, to the bathroom. So you come in. There's a shower, all glass, sink, toilet, trash bin. And then here's a space where you can just hang up like your wet bathing suits that you washed or anything that you wash and you want to dry, they give you a drying rack. And this open space is just for that. No full length mirror. You guys know how I love my full length mirrors, but it's all right. I mean, it's really nothing I can do, right? So yeah, this is the loft that I rented and I rented them through Expedia. Com. I did the package, the flight hotel package. It's just me, but I think it's really cute. I'm loving these wooden beams. Look at that. Now I am about to check for the bed bugs, take a shower, change, and hit the streets. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let come in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Ruin my body. Usually I don't do this often, but since recruiting isn't an option, due to unusual pain and thunder, baby I wonder, baby I wonder, would you just put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me? Yeah, yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. The next morning. Hey y'all. So I was supposed to come back on the camera yesterday. I went outside. I came downstairs. Right here. The green building. And here's the restaurant. And I met a group of Guyanese people who were so cool. And we ate and we drank drinks on them and before we knew it I don't know it was late so my bad
So the green building at the very top where the window is open, that is where I'm staying, that loft, thank you. And then the restaurant is there. There's an ice cream truck there. My mom would love that. She loves ice cream. She would be down there every night. So I just walked across to the Dushi sign. And the Curacao sign is here. So I'm going to take some pictures in front of them. Because you can't come to Curacao without taking the infamous tourist shots. We're gonna start with the Curacao sign. Somebody's there taking pictures and a douchey sign. So while they do that, I can come over here. See, here's the Curacao. Right across from my loft. Right across the road from my loft. Literally across the road. And there's the douchey. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back from outside taking pictures in front of the Curacao and the Dushi sign. And before I head back out, I just want to do a quick outfit check. So I'm wearing mom shorts, like mom denim shorts, a basic black bralette, and this long mesh shirt. You got to wear this shirt as a swimsuit cover-up or pair it like with an outfit. And some basic black relationship I mean it could be for family you could do one with your mom with your sister your sibling but it's really like you know relationships significant others couples that lock they love so there was a famous bridge in Paris that had that the love lock bridge and it started collapsing and they had to remove the bridge all together and now they have like a plexiglass because they figured if they replace the bridge then people would start locking their locks on it again and that was something that they tried to avoid which you know it kind of sucks because it's pretty but you know for safety reasons they had to remove the bridge I'll probably pop some pictures up of the before and after that bridge in Paris. Forgot the name of it. But here in Punta, in Curacao, they don't have it on the bridge, which is good. They have them, you know, like on the ground. They started out with one heart and I think they have, they added two additional hearts. So there's probably three hearts with locks on them. I can actually see them ahead of us. We cross the road. Yeah, there's three. 
and it's right by the Queen Emma Bridge. That's the floating bridge that floats open to let the boats go through. Punta Love Hearts. Lock your love on the Punta Love Heart. Oh God, wait, you guys can't see because of my shadow. There we go. And look at this additional little heart on this one. Oh, that's so cute. There's a lot of like, oh, I have a heart just like that. The same exact one. Let me pull it out my pocket. But my heart says, love thyself, Crystal Amanda, Curacao, 2023. So look. Hold on. Aw. So you can pretty much lock any kind of lock. Doesn't even have to be a fancy one. Like, look. There's a regular, you know, lock. Got the combination lock. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to lock my heart on it. Love thyself. Because self-explanatory, you gotta love yourself first before anything. show you where I lock mine right here so if you ever come to Curacao you lock your love on this look for me I put it in the middle heart of the center heart because you got the heart on the left heart on the right and then the center so I put it on the center so look for me when you come here and lock your love this is the floating bridge, so it floats open to let like the boats come through. And that's another bridge. I forget what bridge that's called. There's like shops and restaurants here. Look at the colorful buildings.
Hola, ¿cómo estás? Pero mi español no es muy bueno. Okay. Pero puedo hablarme en español. Sí. Necesito practicar. Practica. Sí. Okay. ¿Está buscando algo para comer? <risa> ¿Es para comer acá o es para llevar? Para comer acá. Sí. Okay. They speak four languages here: English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamento. They speak a lot of the copy and mental. I don't even, I don't understand it at all. Or Dutch. This looks so refreshing. I think it's like a lime. Let me see. Oh, so good. So I got oxtail, my favorite Caribbean dish. So good. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, I just came to my loft for a second to change out of my bralette and I threw on a one-piece um, swimsuit because I'm going to walk down to, there's a small man-made beach called Bunda Beach. So it should be two-minute walk, three-minute walk. It's really close. Okay, so see I have the, the top that I wore earlier. Put that back on. Still have my same sandals on. I did switch out my head wrap. I threw on a different head wrap. I don't even know if this is the one that I wanted to wear, but I have a lot of head wraps. Provocación, se 